Hi everybody, this is Greg with Age Verify, and today in this video I'm going to walk you through adding in our Age Verify code into a Squarespace website. So to begin with here, I've got two tabs open in my browser. The first one is uh, my Squarespace website admin config page. Yours will of course look different, and it'll have your website on it. And uh, the other tab that I've got open is Age Verify. And uh, we want this open because this is the website we're going to use to grab our code and add it into our Squarespace website. So to begin with here, let's go to our Squarespace website. And again, we're on the admin page. And we're going to want to go to the uh, header injection code section. And to get there, from the left-hand side, we're going to go down here and click on settings. And then from settings, scroll down until you get to this advanced. It's under this website category. This is this one right here titled Advanced. And then uh, from Advanced, you're going to want to find one that says Code Injection. And here it is right here, Code Injection. And within Code Injection, uh, there's a number of options. You can add code into the header or to the footer. Uh, Age Verify will work in either one. It really doesn't matter. Um, I recommend adding it into the header. Uh, and But what we need to do now is actually get our Age Verify code. So to do that, let's go over to my other tab here. And again, it's on ageverify.co. And uh, from our website, up here at the top, click on the Get Started link. And then you can select a, a template of your choosing. We have a number of them uh, for a variety of industries. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, though, we're going to use our translucent template, which is our, our most popular template. So we'll click on Learn More here. And if you want to, you can view a demo uh, of our, web, of our uh, translucent template. There's a date of birth input or an age button prompt. Scroll down a little bit further here. We have three tiers of service. Uh, we have our basic free version. Uh, you're, you're welcome to use it as long as you want. It's free. It is ad supported, so there is an advertisement running at the bottom of uh, the age verification prompt. There is a pro service. It's the same templates that's available in the free version. Uh, the main difference here is that the ads are removed and it does have a, a cost of $59 per year. Uh, and then we have a third tier of service, which is our custom version. We can build a custom instance uh, using your brand and your logo, your colors, your text, uh, background images, background videos, uh, geolocation, really anything that you want to do with a custom instance, uh, we can build those on your behalf. And that does not have a subscription fee, and it's a one-time charge of $289. Uh, but for this demo, we're going to use the free version. So I'm going to scroll down here and click for instructions right here. We want to click on that. That's going to bring us to our code generator page. So we want to do this part one here first, the configure script. And so we've got our template chosen already, translucent. If we wanted to switch at this point to something different, we could easily do that. So if I wanted to use the Vaping 3 template, uh, you can see I can just change that. It'll automatically switch it. Um, uh, but for the, again, for this, we're going to use our translucent. And we want to select our website platform. So there are a variety of different website platforms out there, but we are, of course, going to use Squarespace. So I'll click on Squarespace. Now we want to select the method format. Uh, the method format here, there's three options. There is an age button prompt, uh, or you can have your users put in a date of birth. And with date of birth, uh, you can either configure it for month, day, year, or day, month, year. Uh, month, day, year is, what's, uh, is the format used for the United States. Uh, day, month, year is the uh, format used uh, really for almost the rest of the world. For this demo, we'll use age button prompt. I'll click on that. So here we've got our age buttons. You can see them instead of a date of birth entry. And then if we want to, we can do some more optional customization here. You can either use this as it is, or if you want to say, uh, welcome, welcome, please uh, verify your age to enter our website, uh, you could have it say that. Um, uh, really, it's anything you want to type in here, you can have it uh, configured. But the default is, welcome, please verify your age uh, to enter. If you want to add a line break, you just type that in, or you just hit enter, and it'll add uh, a line break into the website. Change button text. The default says, I am 18 or older, or I am under 18 for your buttons. Uh, you could have these say whatever you want. If you want to just change the age, you could easily do that. Uh, but it automatically updates over here. This is a preview of how it will look. Uh, but you could have these buttons say anything. So if you wanted to say yes, or no, or enter, 
or leave. You could have them do that. It's really whatever you want them to say, and you, and you can see the live update here. We'll leave it at I am 18 or over, and I am under 18. Uh, underage redirect location. So this is where you're going to be sending your underage users. Uh, so if anybody clicks on the I am under 18 button, you can configure this to go anywhere. By default, uh, it sends them to Age Verify, but you can send them to any website you want. And then cookie duration. Uh, this is the length of time uh, in between uh, prompts for your users. So if a user successfully passes your prompt, uh, and they say that they are 18 or over, how many, when do you want them to be prompted again on that same device? Right now the default is 30 days, but you can set it to anything you want. And once you have this changed, uh, once you have all these items set to exactly how you want it, uh, you're going to scroll down here to part two of two, installation instructions. And the very first piece here is copy the red code shown below and use the step-by-step -step installation instructions to add age verify to your website. So just simply highlight this script with your mouse and copy it to your clipboard. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's Command-C. If you're on a Windows computer, it's Control-C, or you can right-click it and choose Copy. So once you have your script copied, you're going to go back over here up to the top. We're going to choose our Squarespace tab. And we want to go down here to the header. You just put your mouse in here, click in here, and then paste that code in. Uh, and that's Command-V or Control-V or just right-click and choose Paste. And once you get all this code added in here, just go back up here to the top and hit Save. And just like that, we've added our age verification prompt uh, into our website. And actually, uh, Squarespace is really nice here. They give us a live preview. We've added that code. You can see we use a translucent template. You can still see the website underneath it. Uh, you can see the, the button hover action, what that looks like. And that's it. Once you've saved, you're set. And uh, you can, uh, at any point, change the template if you want or make any additional settings by just simply going, again, back to the code generator and making those changes and then copying the new code into your website. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, don't hesitate to send us an email and we will get right back to you. Thank you.